Hey guys, this is your warm up for the next four weeks. It's made up of four exercises. We're going to start by doing a stretch and then moving some activation exercises and then finally a hamstring stretch. So the first stretch we want to do is called a kneeling quad stretch. Simply get one of the mats if your knees need protection. If not, that's totally okay. Put your foot on your wall with your toes flexed. From here, you'll bring your other leg up into a lunge. You'll come up and keep a tall posture. To make this stretch a little bit better, what you want to do is breathe out and bring your rib cage and your pelvis together and squeeze your butt. If you do that, you'll get a lot more stretch out of this. You'll feel it all the way from here, all the way down to your knee. It's a really awesome stretch for knee pain, for getting your hip flexors loose and everything that we need to do. Once you've done that on each side, we're going to move down into what's called a cook hip lift. So for this exercise, our main focus is getting your glutes to fire properly for the workout that we're going to do. So lying down on the ground, same spot, bring one knee in towards your chest. You want to maintain this position really tight for the duration of the exercise. From here, you're going to push through the entirety of the foot. A lot of people have a tendency to push through their heels. You want to grip the floor, push through the whole foot, lifting up, only going as high as you can without having that leg move away. As soon as that leg moves away, what happens is you start extending from your back and not using your glutes properly. For this one, we want to do about 10 reps each side. Squeeze for one second and drop back down. Once you've done that, you're going to turn over onto all fours for what's called the three-point extension rotation. We're doing this exercise, let's get the move back a little bit short, to basically mobilize the upper back, mobilize the shoulder blades and the entire shoulder complex. So from here, you're going to kneel on all four fours, bring your hips back as far as you can, keeping an arch in your back. This is also going to help improve your squat position. From here, hand on head. You're going to basically bring your elbow down to your other elbow while exhaling, breathing out. And then to rotate, you're going to inhale, lifting up, rotating as far as you can, pushing into the ground with the other hand, and keeping your back in this position. Breathe out on the way down, rounding your back, getting a stretch all through here. Inhale, come up, open up the chest as much as possible. Now once we've done that, we've gone from a stretch and laying our back to all fours. We're now going to move to a standing stretch to get you ready for training. So this is called the toe touch drill. So what we'll need for this is you can use some plates or one of the step risers to elevate your feet and a foam roller to gently squeeze between your legs. What are you going to do? is you're going to stand with your toes elevated, squeeze the roller gently between your legs, don't squeeze it too hard, and what you're going to do is you're going to inhale, reach up, you're going to exhale, reach down, laying your back round, if you're really tight you can bend your knees, if you're quite mobile you can keep your knees soft, and go back up again. What we're going to do is 10 reps of this with your toes elevated, and then 10 reps with your ankles elevated. So Sean's going to turn around now after this rep. The reason we do this is it actually uh, changes what the ankle is doing, which is going to improve your ankle mobility really quickly and put a slightly different stretch in the hamstrings. Squeezing the roller in between causes us to activate our inner thigh muscles, which allows our hamstrings to relax a little bit more and get a little bit of a stretch. So with this, guys, we want you to do this before each and every workout. It's going to give you the best possible results.